Hi guys! With it being summer, I thought maybe now would be a good time to look into spinning some summer-like fibers, like flax, which becomes linen once you spin it. So it's flax until it's spun and then it's linen. So I have two pounds of this because I wanted to spin some to weave with. Now this is commercially prepared so it would be not line flax but the other kind is it toe anyways i have spun some linen in the past but it's definitely been too thick so i would like to work on getting a thinner spin so let's have a look at the flax as you can see it's a very stiff fiber and it's very grippy, very grippy. So I am going to grab a sample of linen I have spun before, so we will have something to compare it to. And then we are going to start spinning this. Oh, and I will need my water. I wet spin my flax into linen, so I will need to get my water source with my sponge. I will be right back. All right, here is the first linen that I spun, as you can see, it's very stiff and dusty. I have to wash it yet, well, boil it. And this is as thin as I got, which is not bad, it's a singles, but I wanna get thinner than that. So this is my goal is to get thinner than this put that aside. So tools we need. Hand towel. Just gonna throw that over my lap. And this is my water source. This is just the lid off a glass candle. And this, hold on. Ugh, trying to get a hold of it. This is just a makeup sponge. Um, it's got different colors in it because there's water in it. So I just wet the sponge and pop it in here. And that holds a lot of water. This will keep me spinning for a while. Because you don't need a lot. You just need enough to dampen your fingers. But you also don't want any water in your fiber. You're drafting or it won't draft. So that's why we have the towel. Keep our hands dry. All right. So we will reposition the camera. And we're going to spin some linen. So we have our two pound bag of fiber here. I'm just going to grab a chunk. Pull it off. Now, I've seen recommendations to spin from the fold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fluff it up a bit. Um, you can dress a, a distaff with this as well, although usually that's reserved for, I think it's called line flax, the really long, long fibers. They'd be the premium ones. These are the shorter bits, as you can see. So I'm just going to fluff it a little bit here and I'm going to fold it over for spinning from the fold. All right, let's get started. I think we're going to need a loop to spin with this. Because it doesn't have the scales that wool has, it's not grippy. So trying to get it to stick to your leader might not work. You might need to have a loop. So I'm going to make a loop, get that going again, grab a couple of little fibers, pull them through, there we go. All right, so I'm going to move my water over to this knee. So I'm going to keep my wet sponge right here. I'm just going to wet my fingers, whoops, going the wrong way and just run them over that. So draft out your fibers and then run your wet fingers down. But you want to make sure you don't wet them until you're done with your draft because that will glue your fibers together. I feel like this is just going to fly apart. Apparently it doesn't need 
that much twist. Actually, it's really good. I need to wet my fingers again. Now this I'm finding a little intimidating because it doesn't have that grip of wool. You can't actually feel it. I think you can with wool, how you can almost feel it when the twist is good. It's not the same for linen, but I am getting a very fine spin working from the fold on this. Okay, my fingers are dry again, so I'm just going to pinch that there so the twist doesn't get into the fiber supply. Run my fingers over that and go again. I can actually almost count the number of fibers that are going into the draft on this. Oh, there we go. Drifted apart. I'm so used to spitting wool that has that grip that'll kind of pull it in and together. And that doesn't seem to happen with the flax. You have to literally put the twist in. It's not going to work its way in. At least that's what it seems so far. I haven't spun this fine because I've always fought with flax. So, all right, let's see how we would join. I'm just going to lay fibers side by side and then I'm going to wet that and then draft. Yeah, I don't think you could spin this with a a woolen draw. Definitely a worsted drawing method. Okay, wet my fingers again. I'm not using a whole lot of water. My fingers are just kind of damp, but it just sort of seems to glue the fiber together, which I'm pretty sure is how it happens. There's like some kind of pectin or something in the plant fiber that acts as glue. I also don't want to ply this. I want to use it as singles. And I want to use it as singles for warp and weft. So this could be tricky and it's definitely going to be a project. I have two pounds of it to do. But if I can get it nice and fine, I might be able to make some really nice hand spun linen cloth, which I think would be really cool goals. So you can see I'm drafting out spin and wet at the same time and that seems to be working. So draft out till you see the number of fibers you want and slide your wet fingers down it to sort of lock it into place. And that seems to be working for getting a fairly fine thread out of this. I don't want to be too fine but I do want to go finer than I was before. Ooh, grab that end. Oh, this could get tricky. All right, let's fluff this up. Lay it alongside that fiber. I'm going to get some water and use that to glue it together. Oh, it works, guys. Did you see how that was done? Let's try it again. We're going to deliberately pull it apart. Okay, we're going to fluff and fluff and lay them side by each. Oh, there's a Ottawa Valley saying for you, side by each. And then run our wet fingers over it like glue. Well, look at that. I just figured out how to join pretty seems to be a pretty solid join. There's always learning to do. And if you experiment, you might find a new method of doing things. Now, I'm not sure the diameter of the ideal linen thread. I'm just kind of going for a nice thin single. I have very low uptake right now. I'm using my regular flyer with the center whirl, so it's, I would say, medium twist. It's not high, it's not low. 
so we'll say medium that would make sense and I'm just kind of pulling out how many fibers I want and then running my wet fingers over them all right so my fiber supply has gotten a little mushed here so I'm gonna Put that there make sure my hand is dry before i touch this because i don't want to cement it all together Let's see if we can pull this in half again we can look at that all right and then we'll fold it to spin from the fold now it seems our magic connecting twist should be pull out a few fibers lay them over our spun yarn wet the fingers now I'm moving upwards to smooth out those new fibers onto the shaft of the spun yarn. Then I'm going to let the twist into that and let's see. It works. All right. I really like that. That works really well. Now in the drafting, it doesn't seem to really want to pull those fibers out. I'm really having to work to pull the fibers out of the fiber supply probably harder than I should have to so let's try loosening up on my fiber supply no it just doesn't want to come out of it all right I want to try spinning from the end again so I'm just going to take just a teeny little bit And we're going to just pre-grab just a little bit just to make sure those fibers are sliding because I'm telling you this stuff just is so grippy. All right. There's a little clump I want to draft out. All right. So grab our end here. We're going to get down to where we want to join and lay the fibers together. Let's get a little bit of water. And can you see how there's the spun yarn? Hold on. And there's the pieces that we want to join. So I'm just laying it over, running some water over it. And then. And we start spinning and it held that's cool all right okay I think I like spinning from the end better just grab a little tiny little bit of fiber to do this nope oh it almost got away from me so to join on we lay a few threads over so I have the thread and the fiber I want to add and then I'm going to take my wet fingers run it up oh that didn't work that time run it up and add some twist oh yeah it joins way way different than wool way different but it works okay i need to wet my fingers again uh oh something snapped oh, oh i must have had too thin a spot and put too high a twist all right lay the fibers i want to join together soften them a bit then wet it and just kind of Twisting them together with my wet fingers, then we'll add some twist, and it held. Ooh. Got my wet fingers into the fiber supply and it stopped drafting. Got to make sure you're just grabbing the very, very tips of that. Otherwise, you're going to glue all your fibers together and you won't be able to spin thin. This is me learning too. I haven't done much flax spinning, I'll tell you that. 
but I do really want to learn because I mean nothing would make me happier than to weave a really fine linen cloth not for any particular purpose other than to say I did it and this isn't going to be really fine but I will settle for a sort of fine all right so this is actually going pretty smooth I probably just jinxed myself by saying that but I think what I'll do is I'll throw on a podcast and I'm gonna work at spinning linen for a while so I've been spinning for about a half an hour now and maybe a little longer and I've been playing with what I'm doing trying to make it easier so I'm taking a chunk of this top a roving and I'm just drafting it just a little bit just to kind of break up that bond that's in there and make it a little less sticky you want to be very careful go slowly because there's so many different lengths in there it'll just suddenly pull apart on you so I'm just gonna draft out a bit So once I have it drafted a bit, and throw it in my lap. Now I'm really glad I have this towel because it is, it sheds like a dog. It's crazy. Now, I've also found that um, wet spinning is to kind of control the fuzzies and the halo. But I've found that I am just actually not getting that much of a fuzz to it. So what I have changed to doing is I'm only wetting my fingers to do joints and this is how I normally spin I sit back way far from my wheel and I watch TV and I spin all right so all the moisture now is gone from my fingers and I am just dry spinning this flax and because I'm doing a worsted I'm smoothing the fibers as I go I'm finding it's going a lot quicker and easier to dry spin it than to wet spin. And since I'm going to boil it afterwards, I'm kind of thinking it's all going to come out in the wash quite literally. So now I am finding the process actually kind of soothing and relaxing. I'm just plunked back in my chair, comfy in away, drafting easy, and I can even watch TV while doing this. I'm using a fairly short forward draw, and I keep forgetting to let a lot of the keep a lot of the fiber ahead. Okay, so I need to do a joint. I just lay it over, wet my fingers, grab a few tips, and then just rub that moisture over it. See, if you get too much, the twist is going to go into the fiber here. So I will unspin it and draft. So because I'm spinning clockwise or Z, if it gets too bound up, I just twist backwards or S and draft. And that can unclump it and unstick it for you. And then you can just go right back to a nice, easy, comfortable, short, forward, worsted draw. And I am spinning linen. Flax on this side, linen on this side. It makes no sense to me that flax, once you add twist, becomes linen. It should still be flax. It's the same darn thing. It's just spun. But, you know, English is a funny language. So I will just roll with it. And I'm going to keep working my way through this two pound bag of flax. Making myself some linen to weave with. So that is what I have learned about spinning flax. Let's do a comparison and see, just before I go, how 
if I'm getting it any finer than I did the first time I spun it, which was probably a year or more ago. I don't really remember. So it does look like I am getting it much finer. Oh, yeah, definitely finer. And as I get more experience with it and stop being afraid of it drafting apart as I am right now, I can probably get that even finer still. By the time I get to the end of this two pounds, I'll be finer still. And as long as I can keep my skeins, I can each skein is fairly consistent across it, I can work with different thicknesses and different weights. That's not a problem for me. So that's my foray into spinning linen. Hopefully there was some information there that's good for you. Um, I will come back when it's time to process the linen and I will do another video then of how we're going to process it. So until then, thanks so much for joining me. Oh, do you like my haircut? I cut it myself because I'm not going to be able to get to a hairdresser until July and I have curly hair. So if I muck it up, it's not going to show as badly except for right here where I shaved myself bald, but it'll grow back. It's no big deal. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you next time.